everyone, it's Sofer Dolls, and I have with me my Glitter Girl and an outfit that I just bought for her. This Glitter Girl is one that came out last year, and she's like the first edition of Glitter Girls. I think her name is pronounced Serenia. And the newer ones, I don't know if you've seen them at Target, have bigger eyes and their bodies, like their arms are like movable and their legs bend. I think the arms and legs both bend. So right now, the older versions are being popping up at places like Ross, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx, and I think Marshalls for $15. Target still has the other ones for $20. And I have a review on her of when I opened her. She so far has been my only one of the Glitter Girls. I thought I would be getting more, but I haven't. But I'll tell you, I'm really tempted to get them now. Um, at my local stores, I could never find the outfits except for maybe like shoes or saw or like leggings. So this is the first time I've seen the outfits and I really like it. It reminds me so much of the R generation, the way it's set up. This one was $7.99 and I think they're like deluxe version is $12.99 and they're really cute little outfits. This was my favorite. It's called a uh, stylish outfit sparkling with style. There were some lace overalls I really wanted, but I know these outfits, like these are nothing new and they still have the older version of the doll on the back, not the newer version. Um, but kind of seeing how this outfit goes will decide on whether I add to my collection of Glitter Girls or not. I'm gonna open this up and put it on my doll. my doll and I have to say taking the clothes off the outfit was like stitched the top to the pants which I was a little disappointed that they had to stitch the two together as it was on the doll and the bow was actually stitched into the hair just something to be aware of if you get these dolls and have to if you want to redress them so I did have to do little clips I don't like when things have that many stitches because I'm always afraid I'm gonna poke a hole in something um, but that's how it was and the outfit though looks really cute um, a really cute little, you know, top. It's got the little sequin hearts. I think, you know, the main idea with these is they're glittery and cute outfits. The skirt is probably why I fell in love with the outfit. The only thing, again, is I was disappointed. It has this little tag, but they did it through like three layers and folded it. It's kind of weird. It doesn't flow naturally like a skirt should flow. Cute little socks and jelly shoes that actually do open and close like a little tiny little like pop and snap. Um, another thing though I was disappointed about is these dolls do not come with underwear and having a skirt like this, I really don't like that she doesn't have underwear. So that's my biggest complaint is I really wish they had given these dolls panties. Um, I don't like the little, I'm afraid to sit her down somewhere. So that's, I, I think it's an adorable outfit. I'm disappointed though with the no panties. Um, and the weird, not weird. But a funny thing is, is my friend, a couple of my friends happened to buy these dolls yesterday and post about them on Instagram as I'm buying this um, outfit. And um, one of my friends just posted, and I'm, I'm gonna leave a link. She uploaded a video. She bought four of the dolls yesterday and it's Kate's Dollhouse. I'll leave a link so you can check out her um, YouTube video. Um, I'm really considering getting more of these dolls. Let me know, do you have these? Do you think I should add these to my collection or not? I did think the little hanger was cute and I liked how these are so similar to the R generation, obviously, but I like the little similarities and how it's like a smaller version, really cute. I do like the eyes on these dolls. And I always keep these little uh, cutouts and I put the name of the outfit on the back so I know what came in it and what the name of the outfit was. So let me know, you know what you think of these dolls and um, there's a newer version. Do you like the newer version, the older version? The newer version has like bigger eyes and do you think I should go ahead and get more of these because they are right now at like TJ Maxx and Ross and Home Goods. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check back soon for more videos. And as always, keep enjoying your dolls. Bye-bye.